welcome to Spotlight in Bentonville. I'm your village president, Frank DeSimone, your host for this episode. Today we'll be discussing the, the successful business Sackett Systems Incorporated. With me today is Len Meniscalco, CEO of Sackett Systems, and Tim Roberts, Vice President of Sales in Sackett Systems Incorporated. Gentlemen, welcome to the show today. Thank you. Thank you for inviting us. Lenny, well, Len, question for you. Tell me about yourself and a little bit about your company. Well, I actually got involved with the material handling business back in 1962 and uh, was in batteries and chargers. Worked for a company for about eight years. And um, at that time, 80% of the trucks were all LP or gas. And uh, the, were the battery operated type trucks were in their infancy just starting out. So it was a good time for us to get involved. And then the EPA and the uh, OSHA and people like this here were getting involved because they were saying you cannot use uh, uh, gasoline type trucks inside of a building. So that made it better for us. So after eight years, I left because they sold the company and I uh, decided it was time for me to make a move because I wasn't too satisfied with the new people. So that's how I got started there. But uh, from that point on, we purchased some property, actually we moved the, into Bensonville because the reason why, because I think it was because you were in the center of this economical development area here, and that was the Northwest Corridor, and that started from like North <coughs> Avenue out to uh, the Lake Cook Road, and you people right here in Benson were right in the center of it, and all these new warehouses going up, it's better for us because there's a lot of, lot, of, lot of batteries in there and a lot of chargers and that sort of thing. So it worked out very well for us. And after we were here for a couple of years, we bought some property where we're, where we're at today. And that's, um, that was back around 1975. So we've been here a while now. And um, so when we've expanded from that, we put 10,000 square feet in. In the meantime, we became a dealer for Sackett. And uh, we were their dealer for several years, and then the owner decided to, uh, he lived in St. Louis to begin with, but he decided to take uh, the business and put it up for grabs and sell it. So I wasn't really interested in it, and I'll tell you why, because at that time, it was 1982, um, the prime rate at that point was 17%. <laughs> and everybody was saying, are you crazy going to borrow money like that? Well, the bank were a little more convenient about it. They said, look, just pay the interest until you get to the point that you feel that you can start putting money on the principal. So we did that for about two years, and things turned a corner, and the company started to smooth up. So you have three divisions that you specialize in. Um, let's start with the parent company, Sackett Systems. What, what is the focus of Sackett Systems? Well, Sackett Systems is a um, battery handling equipment company, battery exchange. And uh, that was very good for us because that's the reason we took the line on because if you had two shifts of operation, you needed a second set of batteries. Batteries weigh three, four, five thousand 5,000 pounds, so you better be concerned about moving them. And at that point, it was talking, you're using a hoist, you're looking at uh, perhaps uh, 10, 15 minutes to move a battery. What our equipment, the one we have today, updated, you could do it in two to three minutes. So that was the reason that we got more involved with that. What are a few of the industries out there that benefit from your product? The benefits of it? Yes. Uh, of the, the the battery or? That's actually your That, that would be Tim, I think, yeah. <laughs> well, um, covering Sackett Systems, the parent company, uh, we've been around for 120 years, okay. since 1897. And um, we have a national and international network of dealers and distributors around the country and in other countries. Um, Sackett System specializes in the design, manufacture, and servicing of battery uh, forklift, forklift battery exchange equipment, and um, as well as uh, uh, accessories like battery washing equipment. Uh, Sackett has a history of producing innovative products with an emphasis on reliability, durability, ease of maintenance, and ease of operation. Um, we have dealers located, like I said, around the country and in other parts of the world. So little old uh, Bensonville has, uh, has an international player. Yeah, absolutely. Nice. nice. What, um, tell me about you, one of your most popular products. Well, um, we make a whole range from the smallest up to the largest, but our signature product, probably our flagship and most recognizable is the Hydra Handler. And that is a system for multi-level storage of batteries 
and it involves the man, usually the forklift driver, riding up and down with it to unplug and plug in the batteries. And uh, it allows you to quickly, efficiently, and safely transfer batteries, saving 10 to 15 minutes per change. Tim, does uh, your company handle all the installation, all the service, and, and all the maintenance? We do. We install ourselves the big complex systems. As well, though, we provide excellent and responsive um, parts support, service support, and uh, ongoing maintenance along the way if they ask for it. Who are your ideal customers? Uh, how, can we f how can they find out more about Sackett Systems? Okay. Our ideal customers are any factory or warehouse that operates 24-7, even 16-7 works. Okay. <laughs> um, they're large warehouses that typically have a large amount of uh, forklifts and uh, they work 24 hours a day or two shifts. And there are large retailers such as Walmart and Walgreens, which are two of our best customers, large manufacturing facilities such as uh, Nissan. Okay. Uh, the three plants in, um, in Tennessee and Mississippi all use our equipment. Um, to learn more about Sackett Systems, you can call us at 800-323-8332 or just go to the website, which has access to our salespeople. And the website is? Uh, www.sacketsystems.com. Thank you very much. Yeah. We'll be right back after this short break. conveniently located in the Redmond Recreational Complex in Bensonville. The Water's Edge is home of Fenton High School and Wahoo swim teams, featuring an indoor eight-lane lap pool and diving well. The Aquatic Center is available for private functions and parties. Learn to swim, stay in shape, or enjoy recreational swimming year-round at the Water's Edge Aquatic Center. The Bensonville Community Library, serving a community of readers. Whether you're old or young, a lover of words, music, or computers, the library has something for you. Check out our new Kindles, toddler jams, story and movie nights, or a variety of other activities offered. For more information, call us at 630-766-4642, or check out our schedule on the web at benlib.org. The Bensonville Community Library, celebrating 50 years of library service. Hi, and welcome back to Spotlight on Bensonville. My name is Frank D. Simone, the Village President. And today we are talking with a very successful Bensonville business called Sackett Systems. We're here with Len Meniscalco, who is the CEO of Sackett Systems, and Donna Wagner, Director of Business Development for Sackett and Parking Solutions. Also, Kloss Multi-Parking Midwest. Donna, what made Sackett Industries enter the parking industry? Well, obviously, as Len and Tim had said earlier, we know how to lift and move heavy objects, weighing thousands and thousands of pounds. So it was just a natural segue for us to go into the parking industry and be able to move and lift vertically and horizontally. 
vehicles of any size and shape. Now, Len, you, I know you invited me over, and I and I saw this in action, and, right. and I wanted to buy one immediately. But your wife um, wouldn't allow it. Yeah, I was not allowed to. <laughs> uh, what is the focus of each of the parking divisions? What is the focus of them? Yes. The the, fork, the four, I think you probably ended that too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, most of this is all done by her. Okay. She's running the most <laughs> of this. Here. Donna. Okay. What's the focus? <laughs> We have two parking divisions. The first one is Klaus Multi-Parking Midwest. That's our sales team and my associates and our products division. We represent um, Klaus Multi-Parking, who has a factory in Germany, and they have worldwide offices in over 80 countries. They've been in manufacturing parking lift equipment for over 50 years, so they have extensive experience in our products. Our other division, our second parking division, is Sackett Parking Solutions. Okay. And they're responsible for the design, installation, engineering, and ongoing system support and service for our systems. We have to have someone to do that. Right, absolutely. Besides just providing a product. Absolutely, absolutely. And then the list systems, what, which ones are, are offered? For, uh, we have numerous product lines, but our most popular is our Trend Barrio. It's a puzzle-like system. It's two to three levels high. Each system holds three to 29 vehicles. It's customizable, and it can be operated by a remote control, smartphone app, or a key fob. Our second uh, product line that we enjoy is our parking stackers. They're two to three levels high and can come in single wide or double wide platforms. So you could have one in front of your house if you'd like to. Perfect. I, <laughs> I would love to have one in front of my house. I just have someone I have to answer to. Well, well, then you could go with our fully automated <laughs> systems that are 100% customizable for you as a client. What, uh, what other benefits is SACA parking? Uh, what, what other benefits are there? We consider the primary benefit that it's space saving. Right. Now, real estate, instead of being designated for parking, you can use the land and design a project for its most beneficial use. Additional benefits are that they're cost effective, they're safe, efficient, reliable and they truly do reduce theft and vandalism because they're pretty much stacked on top of you can't get absolutely to and enclosed so therefore there's no reason for anyone to try to get into your car are your products environmentally friendly absolutely we're very proud of that that not only do we provide an economic benefit but an environmental one fuel emissions are reduced because obviously no one is driving around hunting right. for a parking Correct. space Lighting is reduced, so that reduces utility costs. And another item is that our systems are so quiet, it reduces sound contamination. Do they handle hybrid and electric vehicles too? Yes, we have a system, an option that we call our e-mobility option. We install electric car charging stations right on the platforms. It stays with the platform. So not only is it a customer convenience, but also it's better for the environment. You and I talked about this, uh, the project that benefit, I know you're real big on the train stations. What other projects out there benefit from your system? Uh, multifamily residential, mixed use, industrial, commercial, car rental operations, car dealerships, hospitals, universities, and any valet service. What regions and states do you handle right now? W the Midwest is our parking home. Okay. Sackett Systems is countrywide, but right now we are staying in the Midwest. So the states we focus on are Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Michigan, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. I know you mentioned your ideal customers, so how would they be able to find out more about your parking equipment? Well, Sackett Parking Solutions and Klaus Multi-Parking Midwest are reaching out to architects, developers, planners, and contractors. We want them to send us their plans so we can work with the project team to design the best parking solution. And since they all watch this show, yes. how would they find you? <laughs> they would find us by going out to our website at www.sacketparking.com or they can call 630-390-5974. Thank you guys for coming on the show. Thank you for joining. Thank you for tuning in. And we will see you next time on Spotlight in Pennsylvania.